Yeah, this video is uh, basically for Headhunter LT. He was a, uh, well, I'll just address it right to you. <laughs> well, you was wanting to see some of my hardstone that uh, I got laying here. I mean, it's not, it's not anything spectacular, but um, I'd be glad to show it to you because you say that uh, you don't find much of it down your way. But uh, I was going to pick them all out and set them out where I could get a real good shot of them, but just about knocked the dog on pestle off on the floor, on my toe. But um, there, broken pestle. Not a great example of one, but it's not too bad. It's broken a few places. One of the first ones I've ever found. It's not too bad a one. About five inches tall. Here's another one. A little bit nicer. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a... Man, this thing's just as slick as glass. You might be able to pick up some of the shininess off of it, but there's a dimple in the bottom of it right about there. And, um... This one's probably about six inches tall, something like that. About three inches round on the bottom. Move on to a different kind. This one here is more or less just a, a shaped rock. Looks like they might have used this in for a little bit of pounding, maybe some grinding, but this end down here is pretty slick. No little dimple in this one. A lot of them in this area you find would have a dimple in them. Then we go on to like a, what I call is a hoof pestle. Um, it's probably three, or, yeah, three, three and a half inches around on the bottom. Just flat as can be. Your hand just kind of cuts right over the top of it. So that would make it pretty comfortable for, oops, for grinding something. Then there's just a couple other ones there. One here. Got a lot of polish on the bottom of it. Looks like it was <clears throat> maybe used for a hammer stone up on this end. Another little hammer stone. Then a weird rock that nobody seems to know what it is. Um, got more of a, a pole cell here. Man, I wish I could get this a little bit better. But this one's probably about eight or nine inches long. Totally flat on the bottom right here and polished to beat the band. That looks like something more of what a pestle man's got out there in his way. That one come out of a field where I find a lot of a lot of uh, mid archaic stuff. This one here, this one's right around. Yeah, I think I measured it once. It was like 13 inches. Got a flat bottom. Let's see if I can run this zoom out some and get a little bit better shot of this. But it's it's pretty good long one. I'm sure this video is not coming out real good. But a lot of polish on uh, basically on the whole thing, but more on each end. Then we got I'm pretty sure this is a hoe. If it's not a hoe, it's one of the biggest daggone slate preforms for a banner stone I've ever seen. This thing's about eight inches long. You can, I don't know if I can get a shot close enough where you can see the grinding on this thing or not. But it's had a lot of pecking and grinding done on it. 
it's becoming a little exfoliated I guess from setting out in the weather over the thousands of years and over on this side I know you already seen this axe here that I found just a couple weeks ago here's one I found a couple years ago up on a creek while I was smallmouth fishing climbed up on the rocky part of the bank and I'd be darned if it wasn't sitting about four or five foot away I guess it helps to go fishing once in a while here's a few local celts got one here just come out of a field up in Lebanon Lebanon, Ohio ain't got a lot of polish on it it's got some more on this side right here than anything but it's a celt uh, not an ads this one here I found down on the Ohio River hunting behind Lucky and his crew the day after they were there or no I'm sorry this one here come out of a field down in Indiana I had to hold the wrong one but it's got a lot of polish on it. Uh, there it is. Just looking for it. This is a cell I found behind Lucky and his crew. It's got some roughness on each side of it there. I imagine where it wasn't sharpened or polished down. But it's pecked on that end. Got a lot of polish on both faces of this. A little broken pick banner stone. I would have loved to seen that some of gun hole. And there's Flint silk from or flint ads from out in Missouri. You can see how the ads are taper up, tapers right down over the top and meets the bottom. See what else I got down here. Oh, nice old flint silk. Then we got. A little biscuit to spoil. Don't look like it's ever polished any. You can see grind marks on the thing. I'm including a couple of plow marks. I believe we got another one here. It does have some polish on it. It's about two and a half, three inches around. It's just slick as can be. A lot of these come out of the same field. Um, oh, down in an area in southwest Ohio. But um, here's a stone that I'm just not sure about this one. I'm thinking it may possibly have going to be a discoidal or is a discoidal. But this is quartz. And it's just... Uh, it's only about two inches around, but it's polished like you wouldn't believe. Found that. And this one here, out of the same doggone field. I'm not sure about this material here. I don't, I don't think it's hematite. It doesn't feel quite heavy enough to be hematite. I'm not real familiar with that material, though. And then the field adjoining it, probably, well, it's at least a half mile away. My buddy finds this here, and they had just got them plowing this field. Now, granted, there was a house in there, but it was probably a quarter of a mile away from this spot. And um, it, uh, it was from the 1800s, so I don't think they would have had polished rocks back in the 1800s in their houses like we see them now but anyhow 
most of this other stuff is just hammer stones and there's a few other doggone broken celts and one back here in the corner is a broken axe being ground down they used it for some kind of grinder or something I don't know what in the world that was for a couple of monos and some more broken celts there hammer stones just a a hodgepodge or whatever have to be catching my eye at that time all right bye well I uh, appreciate you uh, sending me the pack of flint uh, that I haven't received yet but you know I really do appreciate it and um, I guarantee you, you can be looking forward to seeing some kind of rock on the way back to you all right brother you take care We'll talk to y'all later and thanks for looking.